ibad, the hukuk of ibad, the rights of individuals towards one another. I acted as in a way that is unjust to my neighbor. Wallah, pray a thousand prayer and go to ziyara a thousand ziyara and go to hajj a thousand hajj and ask Allah to forgive you for the act of injustice you made against your neighbor, it will not be forgiven. But go to your neighbor and ask him to forgive you, then Allah will accept. Because that's his right or God's right? Whose right you have violated? The neighbor's right, right? The neighbor's right. That who sends his wife sad, bereaved, angry to bed and then gets up in the middle of the night and prays Salatul Layl. Is he just or unjust? Just or unjust? Unjust. So don't come and tell me, ah, oh, Hussein died for justice. Labbaika ya Hussein. Labbaika ya Hussein starts by being kind to your wife. Huh? Vice versa. Vice versa. If the wife says to her husband, what sort of marriage is this? Wallah, not one day in my life I saw something good from you. Now logically it's not possible. Is it possible that not one day you've seen something good from your wife? It's not possible. He, this guy must have done something good. Somehow, somewhere, you know, must have done something good in his life. So to dismiss all his good also is an act of justice or injustice? Injustice, right? And you can imagine, you know, how this uh, uh, ripple effect or, you know, uh, um, what they call it, uh, the, the, the chain effect will touch upon each and every part of our existence. Each and every part of our day-to-day -day transactions in terms of dealings with one another. You know, when you have encroached on the rights of others, make sure you go and mend these problems that you've created for yourself because that is the core of justice. To go and ask and solicit the forgiveness of these people that you've encroached their rights or you have taken their rights or you have overstepped your limits with them regardless where they come from, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. Whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. Ahlul Bayt, salawat Allah, salamu alayhim ajma'een in the hadith of Imam al-Rida, in the hadith of Imam al-Sadiq, in the hadith of Imam al-Baqir, they all have a common theme. They all say in one way or another to their followers, Kunu lana zayna. Be to us a sign of beauty that when someone looks at you, straight away they could identify something very peculiar and very special and an outstanding manners and outstanding character straight away they could identify you there is a hadith by the prophet وسلم, in which he says i want my ummah to stand out in public just like a beauty spot is recognized on the face of a beautiful human being you know that beauty spot that some people pays to have it you know they go and actually they implant it through Cosme, uh, cosmetic surgery. They pay like $10,000 just for one beauty spot. Right? Rasulullah says, Salawatullah wa salamu alayhi, be like that beauty spot. Recognize, visible through what? Through your action. Wala Ijlubu lana kulla hasan. Draw to us everything good and keep away from us everything that is what? Disgraceful or bad through your action, through your way of indoctrinating and inculcating the question of justice in your dealings in every part of your life, regardless where you are, regardless who you are actually dealing with in that regard. Imagine if you utilize the use of the internet or social networking to project a good image and to fight against injustice. Spending five or six hours on Facebook in order just to post photos, you know, or to, I don't know, reply to someone here or there or what have you, and not use that effectively to fight against injustice. Kashmir 
وما أدراك ما كشمير بلستين وما أدراك ما بلستين Afghanistan, Bahrain, all the way, all the countries where injustice is being committed. Instead of wasting our time, let's create groups that helps us fight and bring back justice for our brothers and sisters, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. I said right from the start, the question of justice knows no religion, knows no color or affiliation. Right? So when you fight for justice, you don't just fight for your own kind. Why you don't fight for your own kind? Because Amir al-Mu'mineen sallallahu alayhi makes it as a bold statement, a law, that when a Muslim wants to behave, he must behave on the basis of two ideas, two concepts. There is no third concept to them when he says to Malik al-Ashtar, when he sends him to Egypt. Did you know the story why Malik al-Ashtar asked Amir al-Mu'minin this question? Because Malik al-Ashtar is a Kufan, right? He's from Kufa, Medina, Kufa. Then he came with Amir al-Mu'minin. Then he was posted or was supposed to be posted where? Where? Egypt, say it. So I can hear you, you know? So I know that I don't have hearing problems, at least. So I'm still young, okay? So it's Egypt, right? Egypt. Egypt is diverse or not diverse? Egypt has Christians, Jews, agnostics, Muslims, atheists, different walk of lives. So he says to Amir Mu'minin, you are appointing me as a leader of Egypt. How do I deal with these people? I only lived among Muslims. I don't know any other race or background. How do I deal with them? He says, Ya Malik. Don't go heather and, 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 and heather. Don't let your mind take you somewhere far. People are of two kinds. And nasus and fan. Imma akun laka fi deen aw nadirun laka fil khalq. People are of two kinds. Either your brother in faith or your equal. In what? Faith? Humanity. Right? So act with him on the basis of justice. Not only when Kashmir is violated, we stand for justice. Not only when Palestine question is raised, we ask for justice. No, no. Who's speaking about justice for Hong Kong? We've got nothing to do with them. Huh? We've got nothing to do with the Hong Kong keys or whatever you call them. I don't know how you put it, right? I've got nothing to do with them. Let them fight their own battle. Wow. That's selfishness. That's egoism, right? That is discrimination. Right? So the Imam says, فَلَمْ يُغَيِّرْ عَلَيْهِ بِقَوْلٍ أَوْ بِفَعْلٍ So he does not alter or change the truthless leader, unjust leader, by the, either by action or by word. كَانَ حَقًّا عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنْ يُدْخِلَهُ مَدْخَلَهُ It's incumbent on Allah to make that tyrant or to make that person who did not change that tyrant either by word or by deed to go and enter into the same place that tyrant will end up.